Look at Hebrews 5.12. In fact, though by this time, you ought to be teachers. That's an interesting statement because he's writing in AD 65. And he's saying, by this time, this time being AD 65, you ought to be teachers. The you being the, the leaders of the nation of Israel, the teachers of the nation of Israel, those in the synagogues who are doing the teaching, that the teachers of the law should be now teaching the new covenant of grace. Jesus was crucified in AD 33. That's when the New Testament or the New Covenant went into effect. And, and we've made it very clear in all of our teachings that the New Testament is not about books. The New Testament is about the blood of Jesus that was shed for the forgiveness of sins for all people, for all time. And by faith, we receive this forgiveness. And it's an, an eternal forgiveness, an eternal cleansing from sin and the eternal purification for sins. So he established the new covenant or the new Testament in AD 33. So now we're looking at about 30 years later, which would have been about AD 63. So we're looking at about 32 years later. So 32 years have passed since the time Jesus was crucified until the writer of Hebrews wrote his letter. And so what he's saying to the, to the leaders, leadership of, of, Jerusalem, of, of the Jews, the teachers, of, of the Jewish people, the Hebrew people. He said, listen, it's, it's been 32 years now since the New Testament was established. You guys are still wanting to live in the Old Testament of the law. It's time to leave behind the Old Testament of law and move into the new covenant of grace. And as a matter of fact, not only should you already have left the old covenant of law and moved into the new covenant of grace, you should be teaching others about the new covenant of grace. But they weren't. The same, the same today. You know, it's really sad that the majority of our churches are led by pastors and Bible teachers who aren't teaching the new covenant of grace to their church family in their small groups, in their Bible studies. They're, they're, they're mixing scriptures, they're mixing law, and they're mixing grace. Uh, and, and, and by this time, you know, Christianity should be teaching the new covenant of grace. It's, it should be in every church, but it's not. And, and I think one of the reasons most pastors aren't teaching the new covenant of grace, most believers have never even heard a message on the New Testament. Most believers still understand the New Testament to be about books and the Old Testament to be about books. They don't, when they hear the word New Testament of Old or Old Testament, they don't think blood, they think books. So that lets us know they're immature. Whereas the mature believer, when they hear the word New Testament, they think the blood of Jesus, they think cross. Whereas the immature believer, when they hear the, the, the two words New Testament, they think books. They think, the, they think about the table of contents in the Bible. So when they hear Old Testament, they think table of contents, Genesis, New Testament, table of contents, Matthew through Revelation. But the Old Testament and the New Testament have absolutely nothing to do with the table of contents. That's, that's wrong. So when, you're, when the Bible... The table of contents was not in the manuscripts of, of all the different letters that were written. There's nothing biblical about the table of contents in our Bibles. Those were inserted, inserted by, by those who compiled the certain Bible that they have, whether it's the NIV, the NAS, New, New, Kings James, New King James Version, the King James Version. Those were put in by, by people. They're not in the original letters that we call the Bible. And there, there's nothing correct about them because the Old Testament isn't about books. It's not Old Testament Genesis through Malachi. The Old Testament starts in Exodus 24, and it's about the blood of the animal that was sacrificed to establish the law of Moses. Then the blood of Jesus, was he was sacrificed, and his blood established the, the new covenant of grace 
in Matthew 27. So the table of contents is inaccurate. Now, what's really sad is all the believers should know that the New Testament isn't about books, but about blood. The Old Testament isn't about books, but it's about blood. One of the problems is in our seminaries where, and in our Christian universities, a student will take a class on Old Testament survey. They'll take another class on New Testament survey. So when the student goes into Old Testament survey, they start with Genesis chapter one, and they teach Old Testament survey as if it's about books. Then they teach New Testament survey as if it's about books. And the problem with that is they're not about books. And the, the, the student who's taken a class on Old Testament survey never understands what the Old Testament really is. And then the student that takes a class on New Testament survey never understands what the New Testament really is. And so these students are coming out of Christian universities and colleges and coming out of seminaries, having not been properly taught on what the Old Testament is and what the New Testament is. Therefore, they're going into churches and they're not able to teach accurately what the Old Testament is and what the New Testament is. And so it's sort of like what the writer of Hebrews says in Hebrews 5.12. By this time, here we are, 2022, that should be crystal clear to most pastors in America. It should be taught clearly in seminaries across the country and across the world. It should be taught clearly in Christian universities that when a student takes a class on Old Testament survey, it's not about books. And when they take a class on New Testament survey, it shouldn't be about books. It should be about the blood of the animal that established the law, law of Moses and the blood of Jesus that established the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's how we relate to God. But it's so sad that that's not being taught. And it fits really well into Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. In fact, though by this time, you ought to be teachers. And, and there's this it's sad that we don't have really good teaching in seminaries helping our pastors and future pastors understand what is the Old Testament and what is the New Testament in a biblical manner so they can accurately teach it to others.